some rain showers, especially off to the northwest of Colorado Springs. It made for some wet streets out there and have really given us some nervous moments as we continue to track those showers. They made their way towards the two burn scars. Both Black Forest and Waldo Canyon were under the gun earlier on this evening. Fortunately enough, rain totals have not been heavy enough to cause any flash flooding issues tonight. Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce Visitor Center. Go back to it on Highway 24 and Fairview Street. Still some wet roads out there, so you want to be careful even if you haven't seen any kind of flash flooding. We are still seeing some wet roads to cause us some travel difficulties. Here's another shower, which is passing its way between the two burn scars. We've seen them pass around and through and between the two burn scars really over the last couple of days, and that's the case once again tonight. This thunderstorm shower and isolated thunderstorm over the Air Force Academy down towards Rock Rim and in the northwest end of the city of Colorado Springs. Good rains for you, but not necessarily any kind of issues on the burn scars, fortunately enough. Live HD Doppler also shows us some activity in Lamar and southward along Highway 287. East of Lamar along Highway 285 over towards Holly and points eastward from there as you head into western portions of Kansas and over towards Los Animas where we've seen, of course, heavy amounts of rain over the past couple of days as well. La Junta and Los Animas both got heavy rains last night early this morning that has since tapered off and now we're not seeing too much in the way of any kind of activity for you as you have been dry for most of the day today there have been some showers and thunderstorms as well in the northeastern portion of the centennial state those are the ones that are now sitting in lamar in addition to those isolated storms that have popped up mainly to the west of interstate 25 west of salida as we've gone through our afternoon and evening and of course the areas that we talked about near the burn scars skycast as we go through our monday morning is going to call for the showers and storms to end, but the clouds are going to stay with us. That means mild temperatures for our overnight, 59 in the Springs and also at Canyon City, 60 in Pueblo, lower to middle 60s in the Plains, 40s and 50s in the mountains, 50 is what Salida drops down to for tonight. Skycast on our Monday afternoon, it's more of the same, only this time the showers and storms are going to be more widespread than they have been for this afternoon. In other words, it looks more like Saturday than what we've seen this afternoon as we go through our Monday afternoon, as there will be more chances for showers and storms, predominantly to the west of the interstate Early, then spreading their way to the east as we go through our Monday night. And by Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, it's more of the same, only this time the bulk of the showers are going to be again to the west of the big highway as they were for this afternoon. Skycast precipitation totals heavy amounts by Tuesday afternoon as you go into areas off to the west of Interstate 25. Sixth Street and Midtown Circle with a Pueblo Chiefs in studio camera, 70 degrees the current temperature. Around the rest of the region, 69 in the spring, 75 in Pueblo, 70 for Canyon City, lower to middle 70s in the plains. On our way to the upper 70s, are lower to middle 80s for tomorrow, 79 for the Springs, 85 in Pueblo, 82 in Canyon City. The rest of the seven-day forecast does call for high temperatures to rise up to the mid to upper 80s by Saturday and Sunday. Those are going to be sitting in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Pueblo, your seven-day forecast, high temperatures lower to middle 90s beginning Friday, lasting into next weekend, with only small chances for showers and storms, more typical chances for showers and storms late on in this seven-day forecast period. We talked about how it's going to be drier and warmer. That's exactly what's going to be happening. Canyon City, your seven-day forecast you push 90 degrees for the last three days teller county meanwhile gets to the lower to middle 70s and there will be that chance for rain for you across the board better chances than it will be in other locations as we go through monday and tuesday okay well leading